Welcome to the Inspiration for an Empowered Life podcast, sponsored by The Image Designers. They will help you look prosperous, feel prosperous, and be prosperous. Now, here's your host, the Image Master, Holly Porter. Hello and welcome, everyone. I want to share with you somebody who I met not too long ago, but boy, she's a real rock star. And I was so excited to have her be able to clear her schedule for just a few minutes because I know she's super busy and jump on. Um, this is Katarina Rando. How are you? Hi, Holly. So happy to be with you. Oh, I'm so excited you're here. So this is really fun for those of you who have been thinking about doing your own retreat. We're going to be talking about that today. She's going to give us some little nuggets and superstar information that will help you. And I am sure that you'll want to go travel with her because after I spoke with her the first time, I was ready to sign up. So Katerina has has been um, serving women on a mission for over 25 years and she's a business mentor extraordinaire. She's a sought after speaker, author of Learn to Power Think and ABCs of Public Speaking. So she hosts over 80 days of her own live in-person events for women each year. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. So she does business trainings programs. She has two day summits. She has those with 100 plus women. Um, oh my gosh, just so many different things for women. So she is the founder of Thriving Women in Business Center and Thriving Women in Business Giving Circle. And we will we'll touch on that as well. So welcome to the show today. Thank We're you. not going to have enough time. I can tell you already. <laughs> um, well, share with us a little bit more of like how you got where you're at. Like, well, you know, I've always loved to get the ladies together. Even when I was young, you know, I, I remember once I rented a pink limousine and all my friends dressed in pink and we went out for the evening, you know, it was really a, just, just because, right. And I've always enjoyed a different group activities and Really, um, I started to do my trainings as a speaker, and then there was this community of women that kind of popped up around me. I wasn't trying to build a community, it just, uh, then I just noticed it was there. And when I noticed it was there, I started to consciously cultivate it. And one of the things we found is that for, for women, that we have a great desire to connect. And we do that through trainings and programs. We also, though, really value getting away. And so I started to do retreats. I heard one lady give a speech about a retreat that she did, and I thought, I can do that. And I did. Yeah. And that was several years Yeah, several years ago. And now we're doing an annual retreat every year. We're doing a couple of cruises every year to teach ladies how to do their own events and retreats. And I got more brilliant ideas up my sleeve that I'll – launch very soon okay well i can't wait so so why do you think it's a good idea to have women retreats because we all like to be with like-minded like-hearted people and we like to know that we're not alone on our journey and women love to share ideas and resources and have a good cry together and get some emotional support and of course women love to learn and we love to have fun and sometimes uh, you know like I remember once I was on a cruise with my husband and I was having a great time but I thought you know what it would be really nice if I had some girlfriends here too yeah. because it's a different kind of fun and we crave that we crave that sisterhood oh, I love that well I'm a good um, traveler with my husband because he probably stops to go to the bathroom more than I do, which is a lot. By really? Way. Yeah, and that's pretty rare. Like, he, he's really rugged, but he's got this feminine side to him. Don't tell him I said that. But, uh, yeah, I love it. We're good. We're good. But you're right. It's not the same because he likes all the guy stuff, the cars, the motorcycles. And, you know, I like that right. stuff too, but I, I'm more into the – I don't like to get dirt under my nose, you know, and – so okay, so how did you get 
get started in all this? Like what made this all come about? Well, so the, so the way I got started and the way any woman gets started is you pick a date, you pick a theme, what are we gonna do? And you pick a price. Mm -hmm. And then if you're lucky, you have a location, but sometimes you can say to be determined. Yes. And then you start to invite people to come. And you don't have to have it all figured out. No. You will, if you, once the first person, Holly, once the first person gives you their payment, believe me, you will figure it all out before the doors open for your event or retreat. And that's what I recommend because the biggest mistake I see is women are saying, oh, well, I'm going to get ready to do it and I'm going to figure, plan it all out. And then I'll let everybody know. Well, what happens is that it's kind of like writing a book, Holly. I know you know a lot about that too. It's like, if you don't have a deadline, it doesn't happen. Right. And you know, I'm, I know people working on their books for three years. I know people working on their retreats for three years and we're still not seeing them because they have no deadline. So the, the thing is pick a date, pick a price, pick a topic mm -hmm. and, or a theme and don't even worry about the location and start taking people's money and you will absolutely get the party started and get it done. Well, and once you have a community, they'll follow you. You probably have this happen where they want to go anywhere you're going. They're like, I don't care where you're going, I'm going, right? Well, I have gotten to the place where we're over 90%, we're actually 95% sold out right now for our next retreat, which is in Hawaii, and it's over a year away. So yeah, you can get to that place where you're, 100% or 90% sold out a year out. I mean, that's great because that allows you to feel um, ease, financial ease, and of course, allows you to put your attention on any th other things. And the thing is that when people keep coming back, that means they're staying with you and your business and they're getting massive value. Otherwise, they wouldn't keep coming back. Absolutely. It's a good way to keep your clients long. Yeah. Well, and when you can put in the same trip or room, you know, however you want to look at it, these other like-minded women and be able to let them mastermind and build relationships with people that they will, would, they will probably be friends forever. Oh, bless you. Excuse me. <laughs> Tried to hold it in, but could <laughs> Oh no, let it out. But you know, I think that some, sometimes just that relationship, you can't put a price tag on. And speaking of price tag, I'm curious um, when, if someone's listening and they're like, you know, I've looked into a couple of them, but they have no idea. Like, is there a rule, so to speak of, I know the price would change for people when they go different locations, you know, but like, is there a general rule of what you would say to, that you add on, you know, 25% onto your cost, 50, I mean, what is that? So they know. Yeah. So let me say this. So the first thing, super tip alert, okay? Super tip alert. The first thing is start where you are. Don't start, hey, I'm going to do a retreat in Ireland. I'm going to do a retreat in Italy. I'm going to do a retreat in Hawaii. Nobody's going to jump on a plane to hang out with you if they haven't hung out with you for a half day or a day in their area or in your living room or something, sure. okay? It's just like dating, you know? We don't travel across the world on a first date, no. right? So start with a one day retreat at home or in a hotel or someplace, you know, a, a, a local thing or a two day locals. Then you offer something else. Then you offer the destination retreat. You know, Holly, uh, we've done Hawaii and we just did Mexico. We did a 10 day Mexican cruise. All the ladies are saying, oh, they want to go to Europe. But here's the thing. I think I need another couple years before I go to Europe because that's a lot more money. It's a lot more time. And the more time and the more money, the harder it is to get people to say yes. Yeah. You know, everybody can say yes until it's time to put the money down. Right? Right. So you build on it. You don't start with the around the world trip. Okay. Well, so, okay, but before you do your own retreat, don't you yeah. think a good idea to go to someone else's absolutely come to my retreats yeah right. now 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 holly i say that because you know i'd love for you and all your listeners to come 
But here's the truth. A lot of us learn really well by modeling. Yeah. See what other people do that we like and what we don't like and what we would do differently. And also some part of it is to see, oh, I could do that, right? right? So to actually see how they're doing it is really essential. And there's another ingredient in it. When you go to someone's event or retreat, you have a great time. That puts momentum behind you to do it yourself. You know, you've been thinking about it, you've been thinking about it, but then when you go and you see how someone else does it, how much fun they had, how much everyone loved it, that's gonna give you the momentum that you don't have just by yourself thinking about it. And take your journal with you and keep notes exactly. of what you do like and exactly. don't like. Little Exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, of course, you can come to our retreat where we actually teach you how to do events and retreats and we take a seven day California coastal cruise, that's pretty awesome too. And the reason I do that is I used to just teach this in the hotel, you know, in the classroom. I used to teach how to do all this, but then I thought it's not enough to teach it. You do have to model it. Yeah. You do have to see it. You know, what does it feel like to be treated VIP? What are the group activities that you like? We do a great welcome. You know, we do a welcome bags and welcome reception and we do a group excursion. So all these things are teaching. And at the same time, while you're learning, you're also experiencing what you want your participants to experience. Yeah, that, I mean, everybody learns differently, but I think hands-on, I mean, for me, of course, I'm visual, so hands-on always is Absolutely, for sure. absolutely. You do have absolutely. an online program as well, is that my correct? I do, yeah, I do. And I, in fact, the way it works is you have, we have live Zoom calls every two weeks, and then we have online modules that the ladies go through. And the reason also why we've added the cruise at the end is that serves as a deadline for them to get all their modules done because before they would just do it at their own pace and they didn't have a deadline and they weren't getting it done. So now adding the cruise has mean that they finish their modules, they get massive value and they create connection while we're coming up to the cruise. Then we have the cruise and then we do a debrief which is more learning and we have a couple more calls. So uh, after working out the kinks and noticing online is not enough, okay. it's not enough that we adding the live component. Now the ladies are doing their, I just was uh, this weekend speaking at a conference for a couple of my ladies that were on our last cruise. They got value, they do dove right in and now they're in massive action. Very exciting. So why, why would you say to our listeners to do retreats? Because, first of all, one of my clients who has been a million dollar business owner, who's been in business for over 25 years, she said, and publicly, not just to me, she said publicly, retreats are the most rewarding thing she's ever done in her business. And she does two retreats a year, two planning retreats where they go away, her clients, and they do planning and brainstorming and masterminding. And the reason for that is because you're able to build deeper connection yeah. you're able to get away and bond in a way that you can't do in a classroom that you can't do via zoom and i love zoom and live and in person makes it all so much richer <laughs> excuse me richer yeah absolutely so okay so back to this formula is there a formula yeah a formula for to well, like, okay, so you've got your hard costs when you're going to put your own retreat on. Oh, okay, 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 yes, yes, back to your, back to your question. Okay, yes, sorry, we, we went astray as we, we do, right? Okay, so here's the thing. Whatever your costs are, you, you, first of all, you have to consider all your costs. In addition to your hard costs for the room and the food like that, you have to consider marketing costs overhead for your business, admin costs, what about the support, what about the, mar the printing, the signage, what about the gifts, you know, we do robes for the ladies, we do beautiful tote bags, all that costs. Yeah. So you have to figure all that. Then though, and then of course, what a lot of women forget, what do you wanna pay yourself, okay? Then you have to include that too. In addition to all that, if it's a one-day event, I'm going to add another 10%.
If it's a two day event, I'm gonna add another 20%. If it's three days or more, I'm gonna add another 30% of miscellaneous because there are always, and, and having done many retreats, many events, I can tell you there's always extra costs that you don't consider. You know, once I opened the, the boxes and were three short of something that I was buying wholesale, so now we gotta go get it retail, right? Or something doesn't arrive. All kinds of possibilities, extra expenses. Absolutely, I think you froze up. Um, hopefully you're coming right back. <laughs> That's sometimes the benefit of using Zoom. We use audio to do it for iTunes and Stitcher and we do videos so we can actually see all my guests' beautiful faces. Thank you. So, all right, what are some of the mistakes now to avoid? You, okay. you named off some things that can happen. Okay, so the big mistake, which we touched on, is starting too big. And hey, I'm gonna plan my seven day Hawaiian retreat when nobody's even hung out with me at all. That's the biggest mistake that I see over and over. Another thing is promotion alone does not fill your events. I've had ladies come to my one, I do a one day seminar on how to do women's events retreats. I've had super smart women walk in, their corporate backgrounds, their big marketing budgets, and they're, they're like, Katerina, we made a fancy brochure, we built a fancy web page, we have a fancy email sequence, we have a big list, and nobody's signing up for our retreat. Of course not, because you invitation. Now we have to do all those things. We have to do all the promotion. But guess what? What gets somebody to invest more than a couple hundred dollars is a personal invitation. Yeah. Holly, I see this even with my one day on how to do events and retreats. Sure, we get a few signups from promotion, of course. Sure. Most of it is myself or my team saying, hey, we would love for you to come. Personal invitations. And the other thing, as you know, that we love is speaking, being out there speaking and inviting people when you speak. So never think that promotion alone is going to fill anything. We are not coca-cola or nike with those types of budgets right it does take personal invitation at least in the beginning yes and what's been your experience with having uh some of your friends join you or people that maybe aren't in business and they don't quite fit like how do you deal with that well okay here's the thing so we only want to provide products and services for our ideal clients yes because because we want long-term and lifelong clients so for about five minutes holly i was thinking well you know maybe i should just do a retreat for women because all women could use a retreat right right okay. but here's the thing they could come and they could get value but i don't have anything else for them right. and we're not looking for clients we're looking for long-term and lifelong clients so if they come and they have a great time, but then they say, oh, well, I'm not interested in your business program or your speaker program or your event program. I just like to go to retreats. Well, that's not my ideal client, right? So this is important for us to only serve our clients. And then all the programming, everything is totally a match for them. And you don't have to water it down because you're trying to serve everybody. Then nobody's getting massive value. Right. Very important. And so would you recommend to go on that retreat alone or with your spouse or with one friend and make sure you can check out all the logistics and everything? Do you do that or you think before you go, before yes. you go? Well, always, absolutely. You want to do a site inspection yes. on any place that you're going to host a retreat. And that could be with your girlfriend, with somebody on your team, with your spouse. Absolutely. The first time, we went to the Fairmont Kealani, which is where we host our Hawaii retreats. I went there with my husband. We were there for a few days. We met with the event planner. We looked at all the meeting rooms. We actually decided where we were going to host the meeting, uh, uh, even though it was far off. You have to do a site inspection. And I could tell you many horror stories, Holly, that I've seen 
meeting planners and event planners, you know, look at, look at the website online and say, oh, that room is going to be good. But, you know, that picture is 10 years ago when they had just renovated it, and now it's looking terrible. Or, you know, they took the picture with the full room of an event, and it's really more like an airplane hanger, and you don't know that because you didn't go look at it. So very, very important to do a site inspection. Another reason why we want to start not too far away. Mm hmm Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, that's true. So how far in advance do you plan retreats? With okay. You? So here's the formula. The longer the event is, the more planning time. Yeah. So for my next year retreat, which is next May, Hawaiian Breakthrough Luxury Retreat, that was planned more than a year. I started, I started selling it about 13 months out. Okay. And by the time it happens, which is in about a week, from a year and a week, we will be sold out. So that's great. So that I don't have any stress. Right. For my seven day, of, um, which is in the closer, nobody has to jump on an airplane or many, most people don't, that we plan at least six months out because it's a week, but it's not a super far, nobody has to jump on a plane. Okay. If it's a one day event, you could do it in, in a month. Yeah. True. Okay. And it also depends how many people you want there. If you want 10 people, it's different than if you want 40 people. Okay. Well, Okay. So I know our time's going so fast and I know this is so interesting to so many people that have thought about doing events because it's a very popular thing. Um, and that being said, you know, there's, there's good ways and not so good ways to do it. So I would advise our listeners to get a hold of you. And if they were going to think about doing that, how would they get a hold of you? Talk to you. About Thank you so much for asking. My website is katerinarando.com. C-A-T-E-R-I-N-A-R-A-N-D-O.com, KatarinaRando.com. And there you can see all our events. And if you go to my one day workshop on how to do events and retreats, I have a free venue success checklist there that you can download. And this is something you're gonna wanna make for yourself. All the things that you wanna check out at a venue and there's actually a lot more than you might think about and we haven't really had time to discuss that today so you can go there to get my venue success checklist and i'm not sure if we can add a link here to the notes we'll do that and great and then that will set you up for success and you can see what we're up to and also holly you know i love facebook so everybody you can facebook me i love to talk to women who are planning events and retreats and if, of course, you're interested in joining us for a workshop, a cruise, or our virtual program, I would love to talk with you. I love that. So, yes, we will have your bio and all your links to your gift and any social media that you want to share with us. Thank you. We will put below so our listeners can go and snag it off of there. And, and um, yeah, we'll see in the future where this goes. And, and hopefully you have some listeners that will come and learn all your genius from you so they can host their own retreats. Thank you. And I want to say, Holly, I know listeners have listened. They're all thinking about doing a retreat. I want to say, my friends, don't think about it. Get in action because that's where the rewards are when you take action. Absolutely. I love that. Well, thank you so much. You were a wonderful guest and I appreciate you coming on the show. And we will um, continue this hopefully with offline with everybody. Yay! Thanks, Holly. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the Inspiration for an Empowered Life podcast sponsored by The Image Designers. They will help you look prosperous, feel prosperous, and be prosperous. You can learn more about them at theimagedesigners.com or email holly at hollyporter.com.